Welcome to the Flex 4.4 New Detail Block Introduction. We'll be demonstrating the new Expand Collapse architecture in the Detail Block, bookmarks, search features, and new note line item capabilities. To demonstrate this need for expanding and collapsing of line items, let's go and look at an item that contains other items. The settings for this Source 4 PAR medium is Virtual Item is Yes, Container equals Yes. The Contents tab says it contains a Source 4 PAR body and lens, a lighting clamp, and a gel frame. An additional feature that we've added is the ability to have suggested items be able to show up as contained items of the parent. For this item, we've configured all these different stage pin cable lengths to be added as a stage pin suggestion type. If we go under Inventory, Suggestion Types, you'll notice we have a stage pin suggestion type. It is included in the price of the parent, and it is added as a child element to the parent item. Now, when we return to our financial document, you'll notice some changes. First of all, you'll notice that the Auto Insert Add combo box is no longer located on top, but right above the detail block. We've also added bookmarks and a search area for searching for line item detail. Let's go and add our source for par medium to show you how the expand collapse feature works. We're going to add this item and add a quantity of 12. Once we hit accept, the suggestion dialog will pop up. And here we see all the different lengths of stage pin cable that we can add. And notice that we can add it as a child element to the parent item. After we hit accept, we'll see the contained items of the source for par plus the stage pin cable that was added also as a child element. New Expand Collapse buttons are now in the subtotal area, as well as items that contain other items. We now aggregate the availability of the child elements up to the parent item also. This item has 8 still left, so let's change the quantity available to 40, which will create a shortage. With this negative number, we now aggregate that notification up to the parent item. What is especially useful is when this virtual item is collapsed, you can still see that the child elements have negative numbers that need to be resolved. We also extend the aggregation logic to the subtotal level. With the subtotal collapse, we still have notification that child elements to the subtotal have conflicts that need to be resolved. Additionally, with the subtotal collapse, we can see the extended price for the subtotal. We're going to continue adding inventory to this quote. We're going to add some audio speakers. Notice that there is now a black line above the lighting item. This arrow in line item will show the user exactly where this new item will be added in relationship to the rest of the quote because we are in auto sort mode. We will add 10 of these speakers. We'll hit accept. The suggestion dialog will pop up. We will select the items we want to add to the parent item and hit accept. We'll continue to work on this quote by opening up our video LED tiles and adding some Barco iLight LED tiles. Again, the black line and the arrow will preview to the user exactly where this line item will drop in relationship to the rest of the quote. We'll drop it, add a quantity 40, hit accept. The suggestion dialog will appear. We'll select all the different items that we want to add as accessories to the main parent item. And finally hit accept. Now, this quote has three different subtotals, audio, lighting, and video, and if we go up to the bookmarks area, we can see all the different bookmarks for those subtotals as they were added to the quote. If we click on the video subtotal, it'll take us directly to the video area in the quote. Another bookmark feature that we've added is the ability to bookmark a single line item within the quote. The new grab handle for line items is the area just to the left of the checkbox, you click, drag, and now drop right on top of the bookmarks. You add it to the bookmark, and there you go. Now, anytime we open this quote, we can go directly to that Barco LED tile line item. The search area to the left allows users to search for specific line items within the quote detail block. We're going to type in the word par, hit search, and our results show us four line items with the word par in them. 
we can use the arrows to scroll through all those different results. This feature is especially useful if you've created multiple subtotals, for example, a subtotal of room 150, room 152, etc., and have put the same line item in each of those custom subtotals, now you can search for that line item in all the different subtotals. The grab handle feature is also available to reorganize line items. Grab the same area to the left of the checkbox, click, drag and drop to organize your different line items in the quote. We have changed the way we are adding items to insert and we're going to go to our feeder which is underneath power distribution and insert this into our lighting area. The arrow in line again will preview to the user exactly where this item will be dropped in relationship to other items already on the detail block of the quote. We'll release, hit accept, and now this line item is dropped below the virtual group of source 4 par mediums. We can now return to our inventory item, grab some other items. This time we're going to add it just above the tails. One of the other limitations that we fixed with the 4.4 release is the ability to add note line items that are greater than 128 characters. To do this, we can right click on any line item, hit add note, click on the note line item, and now we're going to add our text. Once we're done with our text, we can click out of the box. If we hover over the note line item, it'll also show the text as a tooltip so you don't have to keep on opening it to view the whole text. A final area that we've made changes to in Flex 4.4 is adding subtotals to discounts. To add a subtotal discount, you will now right click on the subtotal, hit Add Subtotal Discount, click on the discount percentage and modify that, tab out of it, and now the subtotal percentage will be discounted. I hope this gives you a good insight in the new features of the Flex 4.4 detail block. If you have any questions, please contact support at flexrentalsolutions.com.